Welcome to the Jump Trading Simulation and Education Center. Opened in April of 2013, Jump was made possible in part to a generous $25 million donation named for Jump Trading, a Chicago-based trading firm, a collaboration between OSF Healthcare and the University of Illinois College of Medicine at Peoria. Jump is a world-class facility transforming healthcare through education, research, and innovation. February 2014 marked the launch of the Applied Research for Community Health through Engineering and Simulation, or as we refer to it, Jump Arches. In collaboration with the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign's College of Engineering, Jump Arches will focus on the technologies and techniques of clinical simulation and its impact on patient care. Like the work that goes on inside the facility, innovation lies at the core of the building's design and construction. Jump was awarded LEED Gold status in April 2014, joining only a handful of healthcare facilities worldwide with such certification. LEED is awarded to economically sound and community friendly buildings. Over 65,000 learning experiences occurred at Jump in our first year, and that number is expected to grow steadily as our program expands. State of the art simulation devices and facilities attract the finest minds in clinical education and provide the highest level of medical research, training, and innovation. Collaboration throughout our community, the region, the nation, and even the world happens every day at Jump and is the cornerstone of our vision to transform healthcare. For those visiting Jump, our concierge desk is located at the front of the building. During the day, there is a receptionist who is able to answer any questions regarding events and our facility. The pre-function area can comfortably accommodate guests with the lounge seating. The pre-function area also commonly acts as a registration and food serving area for events. There are a variety of conference spaces available throughout our facility. The largest of which is the auditorium, which can seat 250 people for a variety of events, including lectures, conferences, symposiums, and receptions. The auditorium can be split into two halves, which allows scaling and accommodation needs for different events. The boardroom is perfect for small group meetings, seating up to 14. The room can also be divided in half, creating two standalone rooms holding eight people each. The conference room offers a collaborative environment for classes, meetings, demonstrations, and lectures. Typically set up classroom style, this room has the capacity for up to 32 learners. The room can also be divided in half, creating two standalone rooms which accommodate needs for different events. The lecture hall offers stadium style seating for up to 75, ideal for presentations and lectures in a more intimate setting. Located on the second floor, the debriefing theater is set up similarly to the lecture hall, seating 24 in stadium-style seating. There are two classroom settings on the second floor across from the debrief theater. There are 15 laptops available in each room. Down the hall, there are four debrief rooms that can be used as similar classrooms and for debriefing learners after simulations. Learners are able to retroactively view recordings of their performances with instructors and visually see any errors in methods. On the second floor is a virtual care delivery setting designed to look and feel like an actual hospital complete with actual medical equipment. In the center of the virtual hospital is a nurse's station, providing a centralized work area. The computers are equipped with the software used by the hospitals to view electronic medical records. The two virtual intensive care units help enable training using high-fidelity patient simulators and provides critical care orientation and device testing. The ICUs can be utilized as an inpatient or emergency room. The control station behind the one-way glass allows simulation technicians to control simulation equipment and facilitators to observe learners. 
Our six virtual patient care units also have stations behind one-way glass, allowing facilitators to listen into scenarios and run the simulations behind the scenes. The patient care units can be arranged for inpatient scenarios, outpatient, and for consultations. These units were replicated after the patient units at the Children's Hospital of Illinois, which is adjacent to the Jump Building on the campus of OSF St. Francis Medical Center. The monitors in the room can be used to show vitals or other media. For both ICUs and VPUs, we have two methods of simulating patients. Trained actors known as standardized patients and with equipment such as task trainers or mannequins. This equipment is carefully selected to enable our learners to have the closest experience possible to treating a live procedure, injury, or condition. JUMP has a whole family of medical mannequins, from Sim Newbie and Sim Junior to Sim Man and Sim Mom, who gives birth to a seven-pound mannequin baby. Some have basic functions, while others breathe, blink, cry, sweat, and have pupils that dilate. The virtual operating theater can be set up in three arrangements, surgical suite, interventional radiology lab, or trauma suite. The scrub room allows for practicing proper surgical scrubbing before entering the OR, while colored panels on the floor help indicate sterile fields. The operating theater contains all of the same equipment found in real operating rooms. The surgical lights have onboard cameras and microphones so that procedures can be recorded and reviewed later on. In addition, special infrared cameras within the suite can track simulation participants' movements in real time. The Anatomical Skills Lab is a space designed for the education and training of healthcare professionals through realistic learning experiences. Fresh frozen cadavers, cadaveric parts, and food grade animal tissue are used for intricate dissection, procedural practice, surgical training, and refinement of surgical techniques. Connected to the lab is an anatomical prep room, which contains a walk-in freezer and refrigeration unit for specimen storage and an instrument washer disinfector to assure proper cleaning of instrumentation. The lab is set up with a proctor station and four student stations. However, this arrangement can be flexed to fit the user's needs. Corporations can rent our facilities to demonstrate procedures, tools, and new instrumentation for our training clinicians, surgeons, or other healthcare professionals. The Innovation Lab houses some of our most exciting work. Partnered with University of Illinois engineers, these spaces support work in human factors engineering, healthcare systems engineering, and device design and analysis. The lab's 3D printer accelerates our engineers' design of new training devices. It is a low-cost way to reliably produce a physical model of a complex shape, such as the solid models of the hearts of children who were being prepared for surgery. The Regional Transport Center has two parts to it. The garage contains an ambulance, allowing pre-hospital emergency personnel to practice working in the tightly enclosed space. The garage also contains space for a wrecked car, allowing practice of vehicular extractions, while the fully furnished apartment allows simulation of emergency rescues and home health scenarios. The environment allows all levels of emergency crews and personnel to practice and develop their skills through simulations with varying levels of difficulty. The RTC is fitted with cameras and microphones, allowing facilitators to view procedures from the control room. The Skills Laboratory is designed to advance medical model training and is equipped with ample lighting, video displays, and a proctor station for instruction. Learners in this space utilize training devices that replicate specific pieces of anatomy to practice important technical skills, ranging from suturing and wound care to central line placement. The Virtual Reality Lab employs gaming theory to teach surgical and interventional competencies via self-directed training. Advances in computerized skills trainers for surgical, invasive, and non-invasive procedures have created momentum for the use of these devices within medical curricula. Typically used for training at the graduate medical education level, these training devices are characterized by internal tutorials and feedback algorithms, allowing learners to proceed at their own individual pace. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of Jump Trading Simulation and Education Center. We appreciate your time and interest in our facility and programs. 
We invite you to learn more and connect with us on our website, www.jumpsimulation.org, and through our Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn profiles, where you can find us by searching Jump Simulation.